This is Chicago's very own WGN Midday News. The first witness is now testifying for the prosecution in the Michael Madigan corruption trial. Hello again, everyone. I'm Patrick Elwood. And I'm Dina Baer. Thank you for joining us. WGN's Eric Rung is live at the Dirksen Federal Building with the latest on this case. Eric? Well, good morning. Before they got to those first witnesses, we heard from Michael McLean's attorney who told the jury this morning that out of the hundreds of hours of secret recordings and thousands of documents, they would not find a whiff of illegal conduct. Michael McLean's attorney, John Mitchell, telling the jury today that all his client did was legal lobbying. He did legal favors for former speaker Michael Madigan in order to maintain access to the powerful lawmaker. McLean was just found guilty in another corruption trial dubbed the ComEd 4. The prosecution telling the jury yesterday Madigan didn't run the state like a criminal enterprise by himself. And his trusted confidant, Mike McLean, was one of the people in his inner circle. McLean's attorney told the jury that doing favors for elected leaders without expectations of something in return is nothing more than just doing an elected leader a favor. Part of the government's case revolves around people McLean and Madigan had recommended for, in some cases, no-show jobs. McLean is named in six of the 23 indictments brought by the government. Yesterday, the government told the jury for a decade, Madigan ran a $3 million racketeering conspiracy that also involved bribery, wire fraud, and attempted extortion. McLean's attorney also attacked former alderman Danny Solis, who was one of the government's star witnesses who wore a wire starting back in 2016. They called Solis a liar and a real criminal who got a pass from the government. Now, some of the government's first witnesses in this case have already taken the stand. We're going to have an update for you in about an hour. We are live at the Dirksen Federal Courthouse. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.